So I bought this one for 180 bucks. So we have to go through all this, all this. And uh, there's some interesting stuff here. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh, I see another one. Oh, but this is a jewelry box right here. <laughs> oh, this is good, right? 1988. Oh, that's definitely going home. Yes. I thought it was a GameCube. Oh, there's a game. Resident Evil. All right, what's this? Please don't be drugs. Please don't be drugs. Please don't. Okay. Okay. Set up here. Oh, jeez. Okay. It's not supposed to do that, obviously. Coming down the hall, I could smell the BO uh, from these clothes. It says base mode. Will we get 10 bucks for that? Not likely because of the color. Will we get five bucks for that? Yeah, I think we can. This one's blank on the front and on the back says 2XL and it says jail. <laughs> what do we have here? Band version, if you know what I mean. <whistles> right there. But we did find this right here. Man, I got excited. I was like, oh, a binder of cards. What's up, Locker Nuts? All right, we are here at the storage facility. We got the trailer today, as you can see. Big, big, bad boy right here in the truck. We're at this really nice facility. I say it's nice just because it's like quiet. I bought here a few times, and if you saw the last video, I bought this one for 180 bucks. If you didn't see it, go back and watch it. We've had some really nice finds. I found a Nintendo Switch that I said paid for the whole unit, if it worked, and I plugged it in and it turns on, so let's see if it holds a charge, but it definitely works. I found that cooler that you plug in, it's like a mobile refrigerator, really. It's also got a USB port, which is super cool. I was just loading that, or loading for the Stockton Flea Market, and I said, I better look that up before I bring it out there. Sure enough, it sold for 420 bucks used. Mine's pretty grody, but I think for that much money, it's worth cleaning up. Here's the unit. I've been working for a little bit here because we got a neighbor down here. I think he stores his motorcycle in there. So he came in. When I got here, he was firing it up. And it was, ooh, it was loud. So that's all right. It gave me time to clear out uh, all the stuff that we'd already gone through. And that's what I did. Besides that garbage can and a pair of gloves, everything else in here is uh, stuff that we haven't touched or brought here. So we have to go through all this, all this. And uh, there's some interesting stuff here. Collectible glass. I don't know if that's interesting, but there's some toys in there. And there's some toys in here, including Beanie Babies and some Funko Pops. It's kind of where we left off last time. And then this right here. Check this out. Batman. These people like Batman. I saw that box before I wrapped up the last video and uh, I was kind of going through stuff off camera just trying to churn the regular stuff and uh, I saw that I said no, nah, 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 we're gonna get that on camera so I'm picking up where I left off let's get started guys no more delay let's jump in it's locker time okay let's grab this one Funko Pops okay I was most looking forward to this box but I just want to say before I start I'm not wearing gloves with the toys but I have been wearing gloves there's my gloves because uh, unfortunately we did find, we found some drug paraphernalia, but the ones that concern me the most are this right here, the needles. I think they may have had diabetes. Those may have been for insulin shots, but I don't really know. Oh, okay. Ooh, Hocus Pocus, Disney. All right, interesting, right? And they just came out with the Hocus Pocus 2. It's not really my cup of tea. It's not something I'll probably watch, but I saw that that just came out on Disney Channel, I think, so um, Disney Plus, rather. Maybe that adds to the collectability? I, I doubt it. Oh, but yeah, but this. Nightmare Before Christmas. I love this stuff, guys. I love it. I know that a lot of people do, but I definitely feel a personal uh, attachment to this kind of stuff. I just love it. I've said it before, but Danny Elfman, one of my favorite singers, did the music, did the voiceover for Jack when he was singing. Big fan of Tim Burton films, but also I got to see the actual figures that he used in the movies. I saw those on display when the movie came out in San Francisco. They were in the windows of Macy's, if you can believe that. I was working in Macy's, San Francisco at the time, and I got to look at those every day at my lunch for the couple weeks they were on display. Super cool. So this right here, Thai uh, Beanie Babies. Lobster, or what's it called, claw or something? I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, I see another one. Oh, but this is a jewelry box right here. <laughs> I'm so distracted by the toys. There's a jewelry box, and I found the drawer for that too. I found a drawer in the last video, and I was like, I don't know what that's for. Pinky. These are like the McDonald's Happy Meal toys, right? There is some collectability to these, but not not that much value. It's not like, um, you know, if you find the original Beanie Babies. Some of the really, really rare ones do have some value, but these ones not as much, but definitely some value to that still. What is this and why is it tied up? I don't know what that is. I think it's a custom jobber. All right, that's just going to go to the flea market. 
Let me grab me a flea market bin right here, and that looks like that one's got flea market written on it. It doesn't really, but you know what I mean. Not, not literally. Okay, this is a great box, because in here we got a Starbucks cup. No, maybe not. It's the box for a Starbucks mug. We love finding Starbucks mugs. Ooh, I'm a little shaky. I've had a lot of coffee and not a lot of food today. Who needs food when you got coffee? This is like a little bottom soft, like chain mail. There we go. Oh, it's a powder. Okay, I thought it might be. This little powder. This, is, this looks very old right here. That's neat. I like it. Oh, man. It's like a little... A little picture frame is twenty dollars marked down to three dollars and thirty cents but it's got like i don't know it's really funky maybe they use it as a jewelry dish in a dirty place or they used it for something else i like this right here i like this brass pieces made in taiwan interper i just like little brass things there's a little bird looks like that fits on top of something there's a little buddha a little buddha it's a little pepper shaker no salt one though, just a pepper. And I don't think that's, that's not brass, just painted like gold tone. I don't know, I like this kind of stuff. It's just like a little jewelry dish probably, but, no, or maybe a soap dish. Soap dish, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, that's a cool box. I, I kind of prefer just a Starbucks mug, but it's, it's not a bad second place there. This right here, it's open. It's been opened. Uh, really cool though. Diamond Select Toys. Sally, Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, 25th anniversary. Gosh, it's been long, that long, and it makes me feel old. I love it. I really do. I mean, I'm not going to keep it. I'll sell it. We don't keep too much. Not too much gets caught, uh, kept. King Tut, 1997, made in China. Um, little candle holder, I think. What's wrapped in here? This is a good box. There's been a lot of, like, not-so-good stuff, like dirty clothes, dirty dishes. But there has been some good stuff, and we like it. I like it. I don't know if you like it. I like it. Let me know in the comments if you like it, uh, meaning if you watched the last one. This one's got a little chip on the, on the appears to be like a salt or a pepper shaker. We're going to let that go. We're going to let it go. Let it go. So it looks like that's an incense holder, right? Put the little stick incense there. Drops the ash, and then there's the candle behind it. Is that cool? Hmm. It's chipped right there. I don't think it's anything special. Whoa, 12 bucks. There's a really beefy lock. Do we have uh, the key for that? We found some keys. We might. I did find some little keys. I'm going to put that aside. So I do have a keeper box right here. Only if I have the key will that be worth anything. Otherwise, it's scrap metal. That could be a little bit of sterling. I don't know. Just one earring there. One earring. You know what? I should probably keep stuff in here. I'm going to take this box home. This box is nasty, though. What the heck? How are these people so dirty? Everything's been dirty. My hands will be dirty. Uh, what? I had it right, they had it wrong. Okay. Yep. Ah, uh, don't eat it. Bummerowski. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Kind of a cool little jewelry box. All right, that was a good start to the day, guys. Good start to the day. We found some decent stuff. Okay, now what? I want to keep the excitement rolling here, so let's go with Batman. Back saver right there. Always stack your boxes up. It's too high on the table. I'm a little short. But right here, it's just perfect. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at that. That is so cool. That's like a Snuggie. Right? It's like a fleece blanket slash Batman costume. Oh my goodness. That is just so cool. Gosh, that's tempting. Wait, it's even got sleeves. <laughs> tempting to keep. Tempting. So tempting. Okay, here's little kids pajamas here. No, just not kids pajamas. Hey, anyway, this is adult pajamas. Batgirl, okay. Batman party set, party pack. Batman ice cube, silicone. Yeah, that is neat, but it's cheap. Tyco, 2007. It's just really light and cheap feeling. I'm not too impressed with that. Catwoman puzzle. Dark Knight trilogy, little DVD set here. Batman Returns, VHS. Batman the movie, there's old school. Oh, there's something better. Okay, now we got some sealed toy action figure toys. That's good. This is cool. This I like. Oh, look at the Batman rubber duckies. Nice. Joker, this is cool. These guys, these little final vinyl figurines, I think these are, this is good stuff. I'm not sure who that is. Looks like Catwoman, maybe? I don't know. There's Harley Quinn. 
Uh, this is another Joker right, right there. We got some Marvel guys too. This is cool. Oh, there's Batman right there. Yeah, I like it. Who's that guy? I don't know. That's a nice little box. Fun stuff. I like the fun stuff. I like the fun stuff. Oh, this is good, right? Batman and Phantasm. It's from the animated series, or the animated movie, it says. This is good. This does not appear to be open. Uh-uh. It's sealed still. It was 40 bucks brand new. Yowza. Batman 10. Batman buttons. in hard shape, though. This stuff's in rough shape. Rough. Rough. That's cool. Batman the Brave and the Bold. Batarax Batman. Hmm. I don't see a year. It's kind of neat, though. Brand new sealed. This one, brand new sealed. Why is this so heavy? What is this? It's heavy. It's really heavy. 2008 DC Comics, published by Eagle Moss Publications out of London. Not a lot to go off of here. I think this is a metal figurine, though. It's got way too much weight for it to be plastic. Yes. Another one. Another sealed action figure, $6.99 on that. More sealed right here. Pez, Joker, and Batman. What's this? Oh, it's a book. Death of the Family, the Joker. Oh, it's the New 52. This. Oh, man, look at the artwork in this. It's beautiful. Such good artwork. $30 brand new. There might be some value in these books right here. Yeah, I see books because I see other ones here. The Long Halloween. The condition's not great on these. The greatest stories ever told, or greatest Joker stories ever told. Frank Miller. Love Frank Miller. Mm. The Dark Knight Strikes Again. What's this? Oh, we got some comics, but look, it's the corner's bit. Batman Arkham City. Venom. It says number one right there. Hmm. Legends of the Dark Knight. Batman Year Two. What's this? Certificate of Authenticity. Wait, what? <gasps> That's that guy. Oh, this is numbered. Number 44 of 2500. That is this guy, I think. I don't know. He looks different. No, it is not them. That is not him. He's got a gray suit, yellow belt. Not him. Dang it. I hope he's in here. Here's a Batman card. Happy 16th birthday to somebody. Okay, then we got Arkham Asylum. And The Dark Knight Returns. A graphic novel, but super rough shape on that, unfortunately. No matter, all the comics are going home, all the sealed toys are going home. That is the kind of stuff that we'll likely put in our live auction, and these guys will go home, we'll lock those up, we'll make a big fat lot. This stuff, probably not. This, yes. This, yes. We do a lot of sorting in this job, you know? That's just the way that I've learned to do it the best. Sort on site if you can, but if not, back at my locker. Sort it all out before. This guy's in really dirty shape. Dirty, dirty, dirty. That's a dirty Batman. Um, but he might still be worth a little bit. 1988. Oh, that's definitely going home. Definitely. 1988. That's when I graduated high school, but it seems old. <laughs> okay. Uh, enough said. I don't think that is brand new in the box. I think it's been resealed. Still kind of neat. Now the Pez. Fisher Price. Imagine next. Another Batman. They bought everything Batman. Batman Lollipop. Keychain. This is neat. It's dusty. It was displayed somewhere. It's diecast. This one's diecast here. Mattel on this one, diecast. And this one's diecast too. This is a Hot Wheels Batmobile. Uh, I'll kind of keep all those. Not keep them, but you know. Those will go into our live auction probably. This kind of stuff, we'll just let it go. This is neat. Okay, wait. This looks old. 1989. Yes, that'll count. That'll count. It's old. Vintage stuff I'm loving. Definitely we'll keep the vintage stuff. That's potentially got some value. Here's another Hot Wheels. Is Robin's car? I don't know if Robin had a car. Does he even have his driver's license? Come on. Oops. Batman Dark Knight Rises. A little streamer tape for the party. Uh, floating soap dish. That is so lame. But this looks like it could be old. $5.99 at brick a brick. I don't see a date. That looks like it could be a little bit older, though. I'm going to put it aside. <laughs> don't think there's that many people that need floating soap dishes, but... That's cool. There's Heath Ledger's uh, Joker, and it's with crime scene evidence. Pretty cool. It's just, condition's not great, but we're going to overlook that. It's still cool. Super 3D dartboard. What's this? 
something sits on here and there's lights in there oh this is cool we've had these before we sold them i think in the tra that toy show 1989 good stuff hot wheels a couple different batman cars that looks like the other one we got and then we got a bunch of action figures here yes hmm. that's neat <laughs> that one looks pretty cool all right guys well that's really dirty though some of them are dirty 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 okay should we keep should we keep this guy or should we let him go i'll i'll, I'll put it over there for now all right we'll we'll decide later where it ultimately ends up what is this oh that's a neon bulb it's been broke let's see what it used to be i have no idea no clue no clue all right that was a fun box too we're off to a great start today okay next up let's grab th this oh this stuff is stacked so precarious this is a heavy box on top of really flimsy boxes not, not the best way i don't particularly like collectible glass because i find it a pain in the <laughs> all right poncho and there's the glass and it stinks in here it really 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 does stink in here hmm. it's a mickey mouse bowl this is a nice looking picture but i can see the tip right there all right you know what let me go through this a little bit and i'll let you know anything good i find don't hold your breath okay after all that <laughs> two pieces worth noting this uh a little witch and i think it's a bell i'm not sure why her legs keep swinging backwards they don't seem to want to straighten out oh there we go mm. i don't know it's yeah it's not that cool but i just want to show it to you it's almost halloween so that's got to go to market very quickly this thing right here a horse carousel horse and it's numbered 179 out of 2500 does that matter probably not it's made in the philippines and it seems i don't know it's okay it's okay so whatever and the only reason i'm gonna put this one aside is because we found a whole bunch of uh horses in a recent locker and i put them aside to sell and i'm gonna put that aside to sell also the rest of this will just get rushed out to the market okay let's grab this because i see more toys and we're kind of doing the toy thing right now Okay, I find it very useful to bring a bunch of garbage cans to a locker like this. I used to bring garbage bags, like one can and a bunch of bags. And I know people have been asking, like, what did you do with your garbage bags? Well, why waste the bags? Why, you know, spend money on bags when, if you have multiple cans? Back then, I didn't have multiple cans. But if you have uh, multiple cans, it's way better. It's faster and less expensive. Better for the environment, too, because we're not wasting bags. 2015 on this piece right here. I don't know if that's anything special it doesn't look like it but these are cool so you got more of those vinyl figurines there's edward scissor hands very cool there's another nightmare before christmas character there love it another uh nightmare before christmas halloween town there's some more there's sally <laughs> are these funko pops this is disney yeah it's disney funko 2015 so is this the same guy as in the sandy sandy claus is it the same one it might be and there's another oh man so many I don't know if he is. I think he might be. This is definitely Nightmare Before Christmas. So, yeah. We'll lock these up. We'll sell a bunch of them. Wait, what's this? Oh, a little manicure set. Hmm. Seems nice. A little bit nicer. All right. So, this stuff here, we'll, this is not going to the market. We'll put that in our live auction. We'll just lot a whole bunch up. There is some value there. Yes. Look at this, guys. I spotted this last time in the last episode. I thought it was a GameCube. I can't remember who makes the GameCube, and I don't know. Oh, there's a game, Resident Evil. Sweet. That's really good, really good. It's not in great condition. It's a lot of dirt, but I mean, it's, that could be cleaned up. But hopefully we find the rest of the stuff. Cables and controllers. Stunt team. Eh, we'll put it in there. I don't think it's anything, though. This Legos game. I see some panties here. Oh, I see more panties here. A little SIM card here. Probably for a phone. Panties are good. And there's an earring. Okay. This is good. A little Apple. Okay. And then these always sell. Gorilla Grip. Hold up set. This is interesting. This is not... I usually find the hex keys with this, but this is... The star key. Yeah, I don't know what they're called, but they're like stars. Hmm. I'm going to put that aside. I don't think I have one of those. 
Next one. Oh my goodness. More silly string. I gotta keep it. <laughs> I gotta keep it for the girls. Wait, we should just we should test it. What am I doing, guys? What am I doing? These are sealed. Sealed. Oh man, they're all sealed. Alright, I'm gonna have to open it. Show you guys. You know what it is, right? Come on. Everybody knows what silver string is, but we're going to do a live demonstration right here. Don't click off this video. It's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. You ready? Oh, that's what it did in my house, too. It's gross. That sucks. That's really disappointing. It's not shooting out. There we go. Oh, man, these suck. It's like it wants to go. It's letting all the air out. It's not gonna go good. Okay. Maybe it's just one. Maybe it's just one. Let me try another one. You're like, Locker Nuts, we came to watch an unboxing video, not a silly string video. Oh, there. Eh, 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 eh. This suck. Alright, never mind. I'm not bringing that on the girls. They're terrible. Okay, there's another party set there. It's all dirty though. You see that? It's like funky, crusty stuff on there. A couple of keys there, we'll put those aside. Okay. Candle topper, huh? Candles. Candles. Wait, what's this? Light stick. Bags. Two. What does that even say? Crocket? Star Wars Millennium Falcon? What? Oh, that sounds good, but. I don't know. I have my doubts. Oh, it is one. <laughs> okay. This is from Disney. It's definitely more recent. Oh. This is like one of those Micro Machine play sets. It doesn't feel that high quality though. It's, it's a real cheap classic they used here, but... Look at that. I don't want to take it out. It's all like... Secured. I have to take everything out. That's kind of neat. I don't know about value though. I'm glad I opened that. That's definitely not going to Stockton, right there. That might be something a little bit better, but not a whole bunch better. Just a little bit better. Okay, I think this is one of those pet staircases so your pet can get up to your bed. Right? Is that what that is? That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Well, anyways. Right down there for now. Okay, garbage. Hank Williams Jr. Okay, this is all music CD. ACDC. They're in such rough shape though. I'm just gonna take it to the market. Got some music CDs. Okay. 1985 Super Bowl. That's funny. There's a mailbox. Let's get more stuff for the v v VHS player. Okay, let's get this stuff here. There's like beads everywhere. One of these times I'll probably slip and fall. Hopefully the cameras will be recording. I lick you very much. Oh, I get it. I get it. Wah, wah. Okay. Is it glove time? Mm. Put it off as long as I can. Oh, that's cool. The mystery machine right there. A little Scooby-Doo. Alright, and there's one of the canisters for the vinyl figurines. Okay, no figurine there, but I bet you... This was one, yes. This right here, see that? Killer Frost. So that's an example of one of the ones that would have gone in here. I think you buy them sealed and you don't know what's in there. So it's a surprise. Unicorn Ice Pack. A couple more of these vinyl figurines. Daffy Duck. Batman Bottle Cap. What? Why? Hmm. Could that be silver? Nope. Silver would bend. Silver's very soft. Silver would bend. Ah, oh, man, there's more syringes. Uh, you know what? This is good right here. Yeah, that actually works out really good. See how dirty everything is? There's another needle. Next drawer. Bart cards here, but I tell you, everything's so dirty. I'm just like, I'm get this. I get grossed out, guys. I get grossed out. Like, you see how filthy it stuff is? I don't like even if this was in my garage, it wouldn't get that dirty. My garage is probably cleaner than their house. My outdoor shed is probably cleaner than their house. There's another syringe in there too. It's completely irresponsible for them to put syringes loose like that. It should be securing their medical waste. Okay, this one right here looked kind of interesting. Well, that one's got some weight to it too. 
Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Looked interesting. Okay, wait, maybe it is. Maybe it is. What's this right here in this box? It's like a jewelry box. Look at this cowboy hat. That's so wild. It's wild, man. Wild. This is a makeup drawer. Extremely dirty. Just poke around, see if there's any jewelry in there. I don't see anything. Yes, it's this. Actually, that is an earring. Would that be sterling? I don't know. There's. That's it. That's it. I'm getting my stinking gloves on. That's aluminum foil right there, and it's all black like it's been burned. This right here. This type of stuff right here. You know, that's. I think they burn it on there and inhale the fumes this way. Just not cool. Not cool. You know what? I'm not even going to touch that. This is going to garbage. There's some bad stuff that was going on there. Bad mojo. Alright, what's this? Please don't be drugs. Please don't be drugs. Please don't. Okay. Okay. That's kind of neat. <laughs> okay. Um. Eh, it's not, actually. I don't even know if that's pewter. Cheap metal. It looks really nice, but it's not. I'm not impressed. Not impressed with you. Takes more than that. A pump here. Does it work? Does it work? Yeah, it works a little bit. Okay. Please don't be drugs. Please don't be drugs. Please don't be drugs. It's tampons. <laughs> okay, what's this? Please don't be drugs. Please don't be drugs. <laughs> I'm not going to say that anymore. That is, okay. This is actually a little encouraging. Maybe the syringes really work for diabetes. Because that's an insulin tester, right? They don't sell, but I'll take it to the market anyways. But they really don't sell. Plug it in, set it up, link your doorbell. The ring chime. Huh. Hmm. I could probably use it at our house. Everything's so dirty, I don't even want to touch nothing. There's some lancelets. I don't know. Rope will sell. We'll salvage the rope. Okay, this. Oh, wait a second. This is heavy. That's a nice leather purse right there. Okay, let's put that aside. I actually, I did see that when I pop that open to look in there and see if there's anything what is it? what mm -mm. no comment necessary no comment would be uh helpful in this situation so i'm just going to reserve comments from me you guys feel free to comment if you want that is uh very well oh my goodness it plugs in oh <gasps> what's it do oh what's it do oh whoa do you see that that actually is really cool <laughs> that is a oh okay that mm, a little dirty the locker's been dirty I might bring that home I don't know tell me no tell me no guys tell me no so don't do it don't do it locker mats that's a air, air mattress pump right there fortune telling book of dreams <laughs> sure Okay, we got some clothes here. Let's see if we got anything good. I, I don't, I doubt it, really. We did find some decent clothes yesterday. Actually, I say that, and then there we go. There's a Batman sweatshirt. It's kind of neat. It doesn't smell that great, though. Yeah, the felt's wearing off. Whoa, the felt is literally wiping off as I brush over it. Okay, that is just going to go to the market. You know what? Let me actually start here. Let me see if there's anything in here to keep, and then I'll start filling this back up. CD case, little Batman doll, hard hat, it's a little purse, uh, it might be a cell phone, let's put that aside, we'll go through that in a second, clothes, 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 okay, what's this, Jack and Sally, diamond dots, adds sparkle to your world, we'll put that aside, I want to look in there, oh, and then this, it's probably makeup, but we'll put it aside, puffy blanket, okay, we'll let that go to the market, Tommy Hill figure. Yeah, we'll let it go. Oh, what's this? I see Pink Floyd something. That's cool. Look at this. Pink Floyd. 2014. Hmm. I'm going to take that to the better market. I think it's a woman's top. It's not much from this locker that we're keeping, guys. Like, stuff to go in our live auction and stuff to go to the better market has been very sparse. Like, I bought probably barely anything yesterday. Most is just going to get blasted out. It's that type of locker. Most lockers are like this. It's a Star Wars sweatshirt it's kind of cool well, I'll put it aside NorCal sweatshirt it's kind of neat too 
All right, one thing I must say I'm kind of happy about is these green flip top bins. I like those bins. These red ones also are very good. These are so durable. What I like to, about them is when we go to like the better flea markets, if we use these, for one, it identifies what's the better stuff in my storage locker. So when the time of the month comes when we're going to that flea market, we can just grab the green and go. For two, at the end of the day, they stack up so I can... Ooh, this is a good box so far. I got some toys. So at the end of the day, they stack up so you can, you know, make room in your van. Uh, all right, there's Harley Quinn. A little bit rough shape right there, but it's still cool. Cat in a Hat, book and plush, brand new. There's Jack, and he is not in good shape. Okay, so we're gonna let him go. X Men, there's Rogue. It's a little bit older, right? 1994. Cool. Ooh, she does a power. Boom. Tomb Raider. All right, little Laura Croft. There's like a big piece in here. This is actually kind of heavy. It's just a little figurine, but oh, there's the set right there. She got a dog in there too. Again, the box is really crushed, but the looks like the action figure will be mint. That's cool. Medical cannabis recommendation. 2016. This affirms the patient listed above has been examined and evaluated by the physician indicated on this document, and that the physician is licensed to practice medicine in the state of California. It is their assessment that the above mentioned patient qualifies under cannabis or under California Health and Safety Code, blah blah blah, for the use of cannabis for medical purposes. Yeah. Okay. Don't see those very often. I really don't. It's legal in California now, so there's no need for the medical certificates anymore. Thrift Town, $3.99. That's actually kind of cool right there. Oh, I grabbed another bin. I forgot we have the purses to go through right there. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. And yeah, there's some stuff in there. Let's go through that too. Can't do it with gloves on. It's another one. Coin purses, but... Yeah, it's so gross. This stuff is really gross. PlayStation Mid Medieval? Okay, it's there. It's a turtles toy, but he's also dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Oh, that's neat. It's actually really cool right there. It's like, what is that for? A picture frame? Yeah, you put the round picture right there. That is neat. Get the sticker off of here. That is kind of cool. It's not in the greatest shape, but I think I'm going to put that aside. I think that just needs to go to the better market. Let's see if somebody picks it up. Oh, what's this? It's an old watch. That's a Timex. And a vintage Timex right there. Cool. What's this? Is this anything? Darwin Compound 65. Oh, that's kind of neat too. I'm gonna put that aside. <laughs> Batman. Okay, what's this? I think these little jewelry boxes. And someone's retainer. <laughs> okay, let's take a look in these. This one's made in India. I don't see anything in there. Outside's kind of dirty. I'm just gonna let that go. This one? Okay. I thought there might be something in here. Oh, there's that. I think I see Swank on there. I don't think that's Sterling. I think it says Swank USA. I'll put it aside, but it's, it's not nice. It's really not nothing. And that one also is very dirty, so I'll let it go. It's not super high quality. Some of those older ones are really neat. Um, there's some makeup here. What's this? Uh, that's a nail polish, I think. I was thinking it's fragrance. It's nail polish. Okay, just, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You gotta look in these, because sometimes there's jewelry in there, but not in this case. So, what's this? Wait, that's sealed. <laughs> it's about ripping it open. It's sealed. There's a sealed piece. Okay, that's cool. We'll put that aside. And that is a ratty old case for a cell phone. Ooh, it's an iPhone. iPhone SE. Does it turn on? <laughs> just kidding. I know it's not going to turn on, but we might be able to plug it in and get it to char power on. It's not in bad condition, it's just dirty. I don't see any cracks. That's that's a good find. Yes! This, not so much. Okay, now this purse, I love it. I just like leather. I was telling Jana, if I was ever to specialize in something, you know, as a picker, I would I would dig custom-made leather. Like, I, I think that would be a good thing to specialize in. Ooh, we got a little something here. This is heavy. Is that really supposed to be a necklace right there? That is a big old crystal. Uh, it seems like they're going on a chandelier, not on a necklace, but it's kind of funny. That's neat. A bunch of glass marbles. Made in Italy. Oh, hang on now. That's cool. They got little textures inside of them. Okay, and then we got this. That's a nice little bracelet. Eh, kind of. I think it's coming apart right here. Eh, it's not that nice. It's coming apart. Uh, nice purse. Needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Or a lot of it. And... Ah, uh, it's not a nice purse. It's coming all undone right here. 
You know what though? I'm still gonna bring it to the better flea market. Yep, 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 yep. So this area here has been pr producing some good stuff. The Funko Pops, and then that there has a couple sealed toys. This is fragile, that says fragile. No, it doesn't say fragile. Huggins, Higgins, Higgins. So collectible room decor. This is pretty good stuff right here. But right now I need, I wanna make some progress, all right? I'm gonna start working on this. This is the dirty clothes area. So I'm gonna start transferring this to other containers so I can get this area uh, cleaned up. I'll only update you guys if we find something good here. I'm gonna try to get this cleaned up. We took a look at this last time, this Detrola turntable set up here. Oh, geez, okay. It's not supposed to do that, obviously. It's a piano hinge on the back there's uh, come apart. So, yeah, we'll just let that go at the market. That'll probably be like a couple bucks. All right, guys, I, I didn't really get through all that much. I got through the suitcase right here. Actually, there's some really good stuff. Uh, surprisingly, some of our best stuff might be the clothes here. I don't know. I don't know, but they stink. They stink. It's so bad that I just took a load. I took a few boxes out to the trailer. Coming down the hall, I could smell the B.O. Uh, from these clothes being exposed for the first time. I'm just going to show you some of these shirts real quick. I do not know if these are good or not. I just pulled them out because they looked a little more interesting to me. This one says neck deep. Neck deep. I don't know what that means. There's some Quicksilver shorts. I don't think that's a big seller, but I don't know. I just didn't want to let it go for a dollar. Since I'm saving all this other stuff for the better market, a couple pieces I'm going to take out there just in case. Here's a Levi Strauss, but the label's torn. They're purple. There's a little hole right there. I don't know. Um, will we get 10 bucks for that? Not likely because of the color. Will we get 5 bucks for that? Yeah, I think we can. This one, I really don't want to keep this one. It's in really terrible shape, but it says uh, Tune Squad on there. I think it's something to do with that Looney Tunes. I forget what it's called. Most of the letters are missing from this. I don't think that's valuable, but I don't know. This right here is so cool. Uh, this is Marshawn Lynch, and it's a Raider shirt. So for the short time he played on the Raiders, I think it was two years. It says Base Mode. That's a size medium. I might keep that. Put it aside. This right here is the coolest, uh, potentially most expensive piece right here. It's Mitchell and Ness, and it is a Michael Jordan jersey. There's the tag right here, 86 to 87 Michael Jordan, hardwood classics. I think this might have some value right here. It could have a, uh, over $100 value, but it's not greatest condition, but it doesn't look terrible. I'd say it's at least 25, 30 bucks, at least. You see, I'm pulling out a lot of t-shirts. T-shirts are pretty hot at the market. This is another pair of shorts that I probably wouldn't keep, whatever. This is a, just some basketball shorts, but they got the Air Jordan logo on them. So I'll bring those to the market. This is Jax. <laughs> it's not spelled the way I would spell it, but a uh, nice flannel jacket shirt, thick shirt right there. I think that's cool. This one's really kind of gross. It's discolored. There's beads falling off of it. Beads. Uh, it, but it's a Nike. All right. It's a Nike windbreaker. Nice piece. Just discolored. Maybe a, a picker is going to want to pick that up and get it clean proper. I don't know. There's another t-shirt right here. This is a pair of Hudson jeans. We had some luck with Hudson jeans in the past. Byron, size 32. And when I say we had luck, I mean I sold a pair. That's spelled backwards, the locals only. I thought that was just cool, mostly because of tie-dye. Lagunitas, that's the backside. There's the front, beer. This one says Hustle Gang. It's a cool graphic, but I don't know what that is. This one's blank on the front, and on the back it says 2XL, and it says Jail. That could actually be a jail shirt, jail-issued uh, uh, clothing. Or it could be novelty. I don't know. There's a van shirt. Another van shirt. This one's with a hoodie. It's got camouflage. Just a neat piece. These I thought were neat. They're camouflage, but it's uh, Jordan Craig Legacy Edition. They're well worn. There's lots of wear on them, but I think that kind of adds to the, the cool factor. And even though stuff's worn, pickers will buy that. I don't know. It's time to get hardcore. This is cool. Look at this Ferrari. It's got the Ferrari emblem on the sleeve. And it's got the Ferrari tag right there. That's actually might be something a little better. I don't know. I think it's a little cheeky to wear it if you don't own a Ferrari, but uh, <laughs> maybe I'll wear it just because I said that. This one is another one of the same pattern, I think. No, I don't know what this is. 88. It says 88. Hustle. Uh, very worn. I don't think it's a vintage shirt, but it's got this paint splatter on it, which I think is part of the design. It's just, I, I think it's neat. I wish that I had a warehouse with a washer dryer in it so I could wash the stuff. I will not wash the stuff in my house. There's a little Looney Tunes, Sylvester the Cat, that's all folks. I know a lot of people say, you need to wash that before you sell it. Actually, I don't. We, we sell clothing all the time. 
I will get more money if I wash it, but I do not have time for that, nor will I wash these dirty, disgusting clothes in my house. No thank you. Off the wall, now the Vans shirt, it's cool. It's a long sleeve hoodie, Vans, um, and it's just a real lightweight piece. I like it. This one says Yeti. In the back, Yeti. I think that's the cooler brand. Yeti, it's a good brand. Maybe someone wants that. And this piece, I don't know what this is. Uh, Crime Inc. Got a couple pistols. It's a long sleeve. It says shoot informants, not drugs. Funny. All right, that's it. Um, I'm going to bring those to the better market. We're going to try to get 10 bucks a piece on them. I don't think we will. Obviously, the Jordan jersey is not going to go out there, but most of the stuff, I'm going to try to get 10 bucks each. It's going to be hard in the condition. The stinkiness, I'm worried, will scare away buyers because some of those buyers are a little classier, you know, quite frankly. The pickers, it won't scare them at all. They're just looking for quality items. They'll clean it up. They're not scared of it. I just don't want to scare away our, our consumers, you know? So, anyways, all right, I'm going to keep digging. Wait, one more thing. Um, I pulled out, there were some tents over there. You may have seen them. Pulled some tents out. I thought, I grabbed this. I thought it was a camping chair. And then I thought, well, we don't need another camping chair. Maybe I should open just in case. Oh, I'm so glad I did. Look at this. This is a real, oh, it's Manfrotto. Oh, wait. I could just tell from the quality touching it, this is a nice, super nice tripod. But Manfrotto is a great brand. We've sold some tripods uh, a while back, over 100 bucks on eBay. Manfrotto, excellent. And the reason why I'm so interested in this, I mean, extra excited about this, is I don't currently have a tripod. I did have one, and it broke. So one, one leg will not extend. So it's good at the normal size, but that's not very useful. So this is something I will I will keep. Actually, I've been looking at garage sales for these, and um, just didn't find one I like. Manfrotto, about the best, I think one of the best in the business. All right, I'm too hot to be wearing the GoPro on my chest uh, right now. So we're just going through some stuff. Not that much exciting stuff in this area. Not a big surprise. A lot of books in that one right there. I've been going through. I put some of the better stuff on the table right here. And I just want to show you real quick. This right here, Star Wars Empire Strikes Back storybook. Terrible condition. Spine's gone. But I do think this is a vintage piece because I think I had this as a kid. I think we may have found a Star Wars one recently just like this. This is 1980. So true, true um, vintage piece. Right here is Tim Burton, a little graphic novel or something. No, I guess it's just a book, coffee table book. I don't know what you call it, but Tim Burton. Cool. This right here, Darth Vader. <laughs> just a notebook, but it's just Darth Vader. Ah, oh, the spine's messed up. I'll just send that to Stockton. This right here, uh, the clipboard's not part of it, but this I thought was neat. What does this say? Croc Croquet? Croquet? De Ball? Le Croquet? Original? Um, this looks very old. It's either meant to look old or it really is old. It's all like misshapen because they didn't have it packed right. So that's why I put it on the clipboard trying to flatten it out. I don't know the year on it, but it's like a fashion book. Some really nice stuff in here. The paper looks yellowed from age. So I think that is an old piece. I don't know. I just thought it was cool. I put it on this clipboard just trying to flatten it out a little bit. This right here, uh, Nicole Miller. I don't know if that's a good brand or not, but pineapples just look kind of neat. It's a little dirty, but not too bad. It's not. It's a little warm, but not too bad. The inside, surprisingly, is pretty clean. What's that? Oh my goodness! A little skull. It's like a skull bead. Ay yeah yeah. All right. Well, um, that'll just go to Danza. This I don't know if that's good enough for Danza. A little Amber Crombie and Fitch sweater, lightweight sweater. I just thought it's fall. It's the time. This right here, Michael Kors, very heavily used Michael Kors. So it needs to be cleaned. I know it. I think it's worth it. A little bit of scuffs on the brass there, or whatever, the metal. But overall, like, no damage. Just dirty. The inside, very dirty. You see the inside there? Um, just makeup and pens, you know? That's, it's not like super gross or anything. It's just normal use. Anyone's purse looks like that, right? But um, I'll tell you, we sell Michael Kors purses in our live auction. This one we probably won't because we won't want to clean it up. But uh, this one's been worn, used, and I, I see why people pay the big money for it. This is quality stuff. Michael Kors definitely holds up well. This right here, um, chrome. It's a chrome bag. Ah, don't think that's supposed to be spotted like that. I don't think so. I think they spilled bleach or something on that. But it's also, Chrome is a great brand. At least it used to be. It's been a while since I came across one. I sell them online for like 80 to 100 bucks. It's also known as a seatbelt bag. And for that reason, because their clasp is essentially a seatbelt. This one's kind of fun because it's got the characters on here. It's dirty. It needs to be cleaned up. But you know what? Again, worth it. The value's there. Quality bag. I'll bring it to the Danza. This right here, Betsy Johnson little bag just cool I know Janna likes Betsy Johnson 
She picked up a brand new one at a garage sale recently, and we sold it in our live auction. This one will just go to Dianza. This right here, this is an older bag. Look at the uh, the metal strap. Walborg, made in Macau. I think that might be a vintage piece right here. Whether it's old, whether it's new, it's in great condition. I don't think it was ever used. Nice, right? Neat. And then this right here, I don't know what that is. It says M. I don't think it's real leather. It looks older. Bosca? Bosca? Looks like a vintage piece. But there is wear on the clasp here. I think this was used. I, I like it. I think it's a new piece. So those will go to the market. This right here, it looks like maybe it's from Peru or something. A little hand embroidered piece probably. A little dirty. Eh. And then this right here. A ni another nice clean little wallet. Wallet purse, clutch, whatever you call it. Made in China. All right, not impressed. It's just clean. It's kind of fun. That's it. <laughs> That's it. I'll keep digging. Uh, okay, guys. We got a box. We got a box. What was on top here? I don't know. This. Some other miscellaneous stuff. I see styrofoam in here, which makes you think, okay, they're trying to protect this stuff. Um, yeah. But anyways, I was dig. I was pulling, and I pulled this out. Ooh. <laughs> what do we have here? What is this? Is that real? Nope. It's an airsoft. Dang it. <laughs> it's airsoft. It's probably still worth a few bucks, but, um, yeah, airsoft. Okay. Mm, all right. Exciting for a half a second. This one right here it looks, I don't know. It's part of a Indian motorcycle. Here's another part of it. It looks like it all came apart. I'm not sure if they did that intentionally. I don't think so. Handlebars broke off. So, where do I go with that? I don't know. But this, oh man. Both ears broke off whatever tails right there broke off they did not take care of the stuff i don't know if that's worth anything to begin with but it's not worth anything now bracelet yeah. okay all right well it got exciting for half a second there <laughs> i updated you guys as soon as i saw that as soon as i pulled it out i'm like wait a second get that camera rolling all right guys i'm getting through this area i got the couple blue bins going through this one right here going through it a lot a disney vhs but guess what, guys? Surprise, surprise, there's almost no value in these. I know there's so much chatter about it. So much chatter about it. But I don't see anything that's really worth much of anything more than that. Uh, here's the little mermaid. <laughs> Funny. We've got the band, band version, if you know what I mean. Right there. Okay, so we got one. I found one of these recently. It was just the case. No VHS. Now we found uh, one with the movie, right? Yep, there it is. Not worth too much, but definitely a novelty. Oh, that is a black diamond, though. Classics, black diamond. Um, Most of these, I didn't... Actually, I didn't see any black diamonds. That was the first black diamond. Nope, there's a couple more. All right, whatever. We're going to bring them to the market. I know you guys are going to go crazy and tell me how stupid I am. Oh, those are worth so much money. Go on eBay and look. Okay. They are not worth anything. They're extremely hard to sell. There's only very few that are rare. And that one, because of the controversial cover... Of course, this one's, I looked at all the DVDs. I would have at least pulled those out, but they are all pretty well worn. The Lion King, surprisingly, is in great condition. And luckily, this one right here, excellent condition. So we're saving those. But we did find this right here. Man, I got excited. I was like, oh, a binder of cards. Please, 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 please. Nope. These are VHS. But um, there's anything Pokemon's got some collectability. So still happy to find that. There's going to be some value here. I don't know, maybe 20 bucks on that maybe more and then a couple coffee mugs there's a, a starbucks probably the box that we found earlier i love it san francisco it's brand new i don't think they've even used that and then we've got a darth vader coffee mug it's ross for six bucks just cool it's just cool all right and and that was it all right that was our update i'll keep going through stuff i'm only going to update you when it's fun or interesting actually this was kind of cool disco light it looks brand new there's the spotlight right there it's got the disco ball in there um i was thinking i'll make to bring that to a better market and see if somebody wants it it's cool all right guys i'm running out of time actually <laughs> i guess i should have got here earlier today but i had stuff to do this morning too a few more clothes i want to just show you real quick just because i love the clothes polaroid t-shirt yeah this one right here kind of cool still got the tags loose fit it says air jordan it's got an air jordan flight patch right there inside there's the jordan tag brand new um look at that chicago some bowls or something it's got a barcode on it i think that's a really neat sweatshirt i wouldn't be surprised if that's 30 bucks or more this one look at this guys we found gucci <laughs> yeah i think that's a fucci it doesn't feel super high quality i'm sure gucci makes sweatshirts but alexisco alexisco made in china 
All right, this one right here, leather shop, kind of neat, a little dirty, but I think this would clean up really nicely, really nicely. It's like you got some sweat stains right there. This is cool. It says Sears. I think this is a vintage piece right here. I really do. Professional leather clean only. I think this is, I think this is neat. We're going to bring it to the better market, see what they say. Oh, whatever. A little, uh, this is a Sheffield. Sheffield makes great knives. This is a little multi-purpose tool. I think it's neat with the hammer. It does a lot more than that. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> this is a neat thing. I found a little Dolce & Cabana Italian Zest. Light blue. I think that's for women. Yeah, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. DeLorean Hot Wheels. The card's bent up and stuff. Oh, actually, it's open. All right. This right here. Kind of neat Christmas tree. Made in China. Not so special, but it's got a metal base. And it's like a stained glass. It's, it actually looks kind of nice. And I want to plug it in and see what it does. Oh, never mind. I just see right here the paint's actually chipping off. Cheap piece. Paint chips off. It's definitely not stained glass. It's painted glass. Painted on the outside, too. Poop. Okay, this is kind of interesting. I thought this was going to be tools. And it appears to be a little bit of jewelry uh, materials for making jewelry, perhaps. There's like for brooches or something, little pins, some bells. That's what it is. Quartz. Well, okay, maybe it's not jewelry. It's maybe just uh, crafts, right? Crafts. I don't know. Um, hmm. Mm. A lot of stuff in here. Hmm. Probably go through this to see. I don't think there's gonna be any sterling or anything like that in here, but probably should go through that to see if there's anything a little better in there. Uh, all right. Well, anyways, that's interesting. Okay, and then here's our what appears to be a fake Louis Vuitton. I don't know for sure. It doesn't. It doesn't even if it's real, we don't have value here. I think because of condition. Okay. What do we got here? A little sewing machine. Cheap one. Made in China. It's so cheap it doesn't even have a manufacturer name on it, but this suitcase thing says Louis Vuitton in here. Look at that. I don't think this is real. Kagiva Italy, it says. Kagiva Italy. Um, I don't know, though. It's, it is real leather. It's just, wow, it's destroyed. I don't see any serial numbers in there. That doesn't mean it's not real. Um, I'm not sure what to do with this, quite frankly. That could that could actually be a real Louis Vuitton. I, if, if it is, I can't imagine there being more than like 20 or 30 bucks value on that, but it's kind of interesting. Look at this box, you guys. And I'm seriously running out of time. I might have to throw the last few boxes in my trailer and go through it later, but look at that. It's a skull uh, ashtray. Oh, wait a second. Dang it. I see it's busted on top. <clears throat> These guys. I found this too, which I thought was really cool. It says Alaska, and it's like a carved stone, and it's got a brass bird on top, but it's got a chip. Chip, 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 chip. That's kind of neat. This is neat too. Look at this tiki mug. Tiki mug. Oh, there's a chip. Trader Dick's. Oh, chips, the chips, the chips. Little brand new picture frames here. Oh, this PS3. <laughs> Almost forgot. That was one of the reasons I wanted to start the camera. PS3. Oh, that's nice. It's a little bit better glassware right there. Better than what we've been finding. There's a Patron bottle. Okay, look at this. Okay, is there a market for that? I don't think so. This is all corroding down here. It, you could spray it. You could spray it with a metallic sp spray. That would actually probably be fine. I don't know. These crystal vases that... There's a uh, definitely a collector market for it. I just don't know if I'm tapped into what they're looking for. I don't know if that's it. This crystal base is like old Hollywood that kind of look, you know? Look at that, please. This is the art of choking. Choking. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it's made in Japan. All right, guys. I'm plumb with next time, so we still have to go through those. So we're going to have to do that out of the back of the trailer. No stranger to that, right? We do that a lot. <laughs> we do whatever we have to. Yeah, I wrap this up. Get going. Playing a little family bingo tonight. My mom and the girls and Jana. So, yeah. All right. It's like 
almost five o'clock right now. Bingo starts at 6.30. I gotta load this up, get out of here, sit through commute hour, it is Friday, and then go to my storage, drop off my trailer, change my clothes, get the bingo. It's tight. I'm sorry I didn't get more film. We're not missing anything so far. But I hope these bins, there's some potential here because it felt like this was some good stuff, toys and stuff, stuff that we were collecting and holding on to. So we'll find out coming up. Which one do we open first? Any mini mini mo catch a tiger by the toe if he hollers let him go. Any mini mini mo my mom No, we're not doing that. Let's just go. Mmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Well mother of pearl inlay in this, and I think that's a 925. Wait a sec. 